What's up, Fly Crew? I'm coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to Clarence NYC TV X Leslie response video to Clarence. But before we get into the video, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you're not missing an upload. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Me and Clarence were together for five years, like I stated before. And there were good times, and there were also bad times. Reference to the part of that he was looking for me, he was trying to look for me, or whatever his may be. Yes, around that time that he was looking for me and he was trying very, very hard, it was time where I was going through a heart heartache like uh, I was trying so hard to be strong be a strong woman and not go back to him because I found out he cheated on me okay um yeah he was trying to find me he sent me messages like crazy trying to get back with me and trying to figure out why I disappeared and I'm not saying anything anymore because sometimes the best policy is not to say nothing and I stood mm -hmm. quiet and I ignored him and I was swallowing it he would send me voicemails and I was I would listen to it and I would cry while listening to it I was hurting myself through the process too because Lord knows that I wanted to talk to him again and, and, and try to figure it out but I knew that it wasn't right I knew that he lied to me and I don't know how he did it you know what I'm saying I don't know when it happened it was just so sneaky that mm -hmm. I don't know how it went down and I'm not here to talk about my relationship with him when we were together f five years ago. In a, in, a, in two, three years of our relationship when I found things out and stuff like that. Like, I'm not here to talk about it because I know you guys don't really care about it. And I don't want to bash him about it. But I already addressed it. I already addressed that we did go through a lot of things. And I took him back. I forgave him a lot of times. I ain't gonna and lie. It seemed like her vibe is different in this video. It seemed like she's like more like, I don't know, like a little bit more aggressive than her other videos. Y'all let me know down in the comment section if you guys feel the same way. I'm not no saint, but I know that I didn't sleep no with nobody while we were together. I know I didn't do half the stuff that you did to me. No, I didn't. I didn't torment your mind. I didn't do none of that. I was the one in a very dark space because I was dealing with a master manipulator Dang. at the time. No one knows the stuff that I've been through. So it's not fair to downplay my story or anything like that. 2017, I was still with Clarence. September 4th, that first half of the conversation that he's showing with him and Queen, I was still living in the house, okay? That's when we were watching YouTube or whatever. He started his first YouTube channel, his first q and I was still with him. I was there. I have a picture. Like, I was there at that time. And I didn't know. I didn't know that Queen had a whole conversation with him. I didn't know that. He just told me, oh, yeah, she told me I should start YouTube. And very nonchalant. Very nonchalant. That's very, crazy. like, don't think too hard about it. Because, of course, I would... I would think something the girl is famous on YouTube and I've watched her and that's 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 scary to know that would make me that would make me insecure and like want to watch him a little bit more that full bone conversation that I, I don't remember ever seeing because I didn't care to watch their videos and how they started and how it happened so this was the first time I actually seen the conversation and look we were together at that time which is stated in the in the conversation or whatever and around october the ending of october was when he asked for space i've already been through so much imagine four or five years i've already been through so much for somebody say i need space fine it hurt me i told you guys i cried about it Dang, it seemed like his video, like, really hurt her. Dang. Like I was saying, in October, he asked for the space. We never, when I say we didn't officially break up, because we never said it's over. At that time, it was just a break that he wanted a space. He 
told me I need to, there's things that I want to do and I can't do it while you're here. And that made me feel some type of way. I was trying my best to just, like, not trip about it and just know that I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for somebody that I love. Like, I always did. And, um, two months later, Queen came in the picture. And I don't know when she flew down to New York, but that shit happened so fast. She came to New York so fast. And she knew about my relationship with Clarence. She knew that we were together for five years. And she knew how much he loved me and how much his family loved me. You know why? You know how she knew that? Because his mother never wanted to be in their videos. His mother still loved me, okay? She knew, and Clarence, they both knew that his mom didn't want any parts in the video. And she even told me, she said, listen, uh, they, they know I don't want to be in the video. I'm not part of that. You know I love you, whatever. She didn't want to be in the videos. So she knew how much his family loved me and how much he loved me. Okay? So what better way... What better way to feel more superior than me and take all that love away from me and my family away from me? What better way... What better way than to have a baby? Ooh. So is she saying that Queen allegedly had a baby to spite her? Is that, am I understanding that right? Happy that he got, he finally got famous because he always wanted to be famous. I'm happy that he got there. But back to her, what better way than to like get his eyes off me? I stood quiet, I swallowed this pain. I didn't even express, I tried to write to him and express this pain that I had. I think people were speculating that she was pregnant in four months of them speaking. I think that was around, uh, that's what the calculations came up as. And, um, oof. But they let it out August, around August, I think it was, that they let out the news. And when I found out those news, I had just woken up one morning and my phone was blown up. I'm talking about my whole family. Sandra even called me. His mother even called me. And I didn't answer. Because I was obviously sleeping, but when I woke up, I already saw social media attacking me. How you feel, sis? How you feel he got her Damn. pregnant? How you feel that she was in the bed that she was laying in? And blah, blah, blah. they was just saying mean things to me. Mean. And I ignored it. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing about it. I stood quiet. Okay? I didn't even call her back. Because what are you gonna, what are you calling me for? What are you calling me for? Just a few, I don't know what month it was, or a week, I don't know. I, there was a time that I went, I wanted to, I want to get the storyline straight, but when I was, when I, let me go back, when I was, when I left and I gave him that space, those two months or whatever, and right when they started like, I don't know, I think they were going live, I want to say, or when they all surfaced and, and and I was introduced to their bond and their friendship. I remember speaking on the phone with him and he told me, I'm gonna say this again, this is business. I'm gonna say this was either this January, I, I don't know when it popped up. I wanna say this was in January or sometime or December. I, I can't it had to be the ending of December, something along those lines. I don't really I can't pinpoint the date. But it's when it, it, it started up. So I, I was on the phone with him and he told me, um, you know, this is business, you know, that I love you and I want to have babies with you and you're the girl that I want to marry. He told me that I held on to that. I still loved him. It was five years. Mm -hmm. I just wanted him to be happy and get to the space where he wanted to. And yes, I was in a dark space. I lost myself in him. Okay? You can't blame me for that. 
another thing that I was holding on to, because around the time, around that time that they got together or whatever, I don't, I can't pinpoint the dates, because I'm not going to go back to their videos or figure out how it all started or anything like that, but I do remember when I went to his house, and I didn't feel comfortable going to the basement, because I already knew someone else was there. Where it was my home. It's no longer my home no more because I left and someone was there. But I remember talking to his mom. And his mom was telling me, Leslie, just be patient. Give him his space. You know that's not his type. You're his type. Yo. Okay? She told me that. And it was, I don't know, maybe to comfort me during the space time that we were going through maybe it was to come for me and still to keep me there because she knew she knew us more than anything like i lived with them you know what i'm saying um and yeah that was comforting but i, I hope i'm a woman i know i know and i know when a girl wants what she wants she's gonna get it <laughs> she gonna try some way somehow but I also held on to what his mom said to me. I also held on to what she said. And she said more things that I'm not going to say because it's not necessary. Okay? It's not necessary for me to say. So, I'm going to just leave that there. But she did tell me that that's, that's not his type. You're his type. Yada, yada, yada. And I was like, okay, I guess. I'm just trying to think off that because I don't have a notebook. I don't. I talk about things from my heart and how I remember my story. I'm not here noting things down. I I, I try to do that, but I just can't reread shit. I can't just can't do it. But that part right there might be a little shot at Clarence. Cause if y'all watch Clarence video or my reaction to Clarence video, um, he had a notepad and when he watched her video, he didn't watch it like recording it. And he just wrote what his response is, what, what he wants to respond to in her video. I gave him his face, his face or whatever, and we was talking here and there, but it was hard for me to talk to him. Because it was hard for me to accept the fact that she was in the house, making videos, in the bed, in the couch. And, and it was hard for me to see. And I'm not, I'm not going to be naive to what could have possibly happened in the crib i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be dumb about it and when i say the videos was getting a little too much it was getting a little too much for me that i knew that i had to just let him go and then when when i when you mentioned about clout and chasing money and blah 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 because blah, i because that's what i said when i didn't say that i said i was referring to the book and i said you never told me that but it's the obvious. And what I mean by that is, yes, those business collaboration that you already agreed that you told me, those business collaborations that you said you was going to have was only going to help you. Yes, you was going to grow your following. And if it came with money, then it came with money. But I wasn't saying you out here chasing clout or you chasing money. I didn't say none of that. Hmm. But it was the obvious. That was going to happen. Okay? I didn't say none of that. And... So talk about um, that you said that I was body shaming her or or talking about me and her. Like, I've never done that neither. Like, if, if I did that, please show me that because I never did that. And I'm pretty sure YouTube would have already had it. I do remember making a video on live. I was on live and they recorded me and it's on YouTube. And they were talking crap about Queen on my live. And I was just like, please, guys take the negative over my page or whatever i think she has a beautiful voice i wish her many success i did say that i remember that mm. something along those lines i said the diss track i've never made a diss track does it even look like i would make a diss track i don't got bars i, I, don't, I, don't, got have bars. Rock, I don't have time for that that is not my specialty why would i even do that i'm people make their own the whole internet was making their own assumptions and they were critiquing and giving their own opinions or whatever and if somebody and anybody in my family wanted to do something like that that's their business i had nothing to do with it okay i had nothing to do with that and when you called me and you pressed me about it i was 
on the phone with you and I was crying because the way my Instagram was going, it was going bananas. Like people were going crazy on me, and I was just like, "Yo!" But I didn't. I had no parts of this. Not me. That is not like crazy. Me to do so that. her family allegedly, gosh, allegedly, her family allegedly made the diss track. Dang, I wonder why the heck. I mean, if she close to her family or the people, or the people in her family that did that, then I can understand. But dang, like, I guess I don't. I don't really know. Like, that was their way of trying to be protective or like save her. I don't. I don't really know. I don't really know, guys. Okay, it's just not like me. So don't try to make me look like something that I'm not. I was never a messy person. Okay? If I wanted something out of you guys, I would have did it a long time ago. I had an opportunity to do it a long time ago. Okay? Hmm. And I, I sure as hell did not write this book. But it's talking shit about me. Okay? And I have every right to say something. Okay? I have every right to say something. And you didn't even have to react to it. But you did. And I felt like I wanted to react to it too. And maybe when I was reacting to it, my storyline didn't... It made crazy speculations and I was misconstrued a, f a few times or whatever because I was just going along with the book and what was popping up in my head when I remembered what better way to take advantage of the space that we were in to take advantage of the fact that he never had a kid but you you did you have a baby and you are an experienced woman you know what it, what it takes to have a baby us women, we all track our ovulation. I'm pretty sure you did too. I'm pretty sure. So what's she trying to say? I'm pretty sure she tracked her ovulation, her her menstrual. I'm pretty sure she knew when she was ovulating and when she was most fertile. Like you're not you're Whoa. not just gonna sleep with somebody and just not know. You was moving very maliciously, very maliciously, and for that. Yo, is she trying to say Queen Trap Clarence? Oh, snap. Y'all let me know down in the comment section now what you think about what she just said. That is crazy. I, I can't forgive you. You had a husband. Figure it out with him. Yeah, he did you wrong. And you was going through the share of things that you was going through, but so was I. And the same thing that you was going through, you did it to me. And the crazy part about this is, you didn't even know him. But from the moment that you slid into his DM, you was plotting on him. Dang. You knew exactly what you was doing. But it's okay. Yo. God does not like she, ugly. She going to act queen right now, bro. Dang. Dang, that's all I can say. But that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you're not missing when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next one.